Hello, Cancer. This is your reading for the 12th or the 18th. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. This is you versus them. See what's been going on with you guys here. Cancer. What's been going on with my Cancers? Three of Pentacles. Working, building, relationships. Um, working towards something, I feel, you guys. Um, maybe some of you are actually wanting to... <clears throat> work things out with someone or you are trying to um, <clears throat> rebuild a connection here maybe some of you have met someone else that you are uh, trying to spend some time with and work towards something here with someone okay let's see what's been going going on with the other person hmm. five of cups feeling sad feeling lonely feeling down Feeling like all is lost here with you guys, okay? Scorpio energy, I feel. Um, you guys may be dealing with the can uh, Capricorn as well. But nevertheless, I think somebody's sad over the fact that you guys, you know, just were not able to get along, basically, okay? Let's see what's keeping you from them. Hang on, guys. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> what's keeping you from them what's keeping cancer from them you guys may be waiting on them you know feeling like they're the ones that need to make the first move here what's keeping them from them is um i think you're on to something different you're on to something else um and i think what that involves right now is basically learning to care for yourself and put yourself first is what I'm getting from you guys here. Yeah. I, I just think you're over um, drama and nonsense here. What's keeping them from cancer? Two of Pentacles. Mm. I feel like this person's kind of unstable. Honestly. I think they go back and forth between having regrets and then blaming you for stuff. Having regrets about things they've done and then blaming you for the things that have happened. I mean, I don't think they, they have any balance in their life. And really, they don't know which way they're going. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see what's currently going on for you guys here. Just trying to be happy. Just trying to do you. Um, I think you're just trying to gain your confidence as well because, you know, you guys have been brokenhearted here. Um, you've suffered some disappointments as well. I know this person is like, you know, all is lost and, you know, um, they did this to me and, you know, having regrets about things that, you know, have happened between the two of you. But all in all, I feel like there's still love between the two of you, um, of course, but... I feel like they are the ones that probably need to um, extend an olive, olive branch here. Let's see what's currently going on for them. Seven of Cups. Confusion. Telling you, I don't feel like they are all that stable, honestly. They may have options, um, but I think this is more about them not really being sure you know, on what they want to do. It's what I'm getting from this more so than anything else. Um, yeah. But you know, I think they know what they want. I think they just feel like... I think they just feel like, you know, there's no chance of reconnecting here. That... Um, you guys were extending to this person a lot, I feel. And I feel like at one point in time, they took your love for granted. And maybe that's what they're having regrets surrounding, okay? Um, they definitely know what they want. They just don't know if it's um, possible at this point to have it, is what I'm getting from them, okay? Let's see what's influencing you guys here. What's influencing Cancer? These cards do not want to come together. Hmm. What's influencing Cancer here? <clears throat> feeling burdened, feeling like you were the one that did all the work. You were the one that was always offering, extending, and um, you know taking responsibility for things that have happened. But now you guys are aware. You know the truth, 
in this situation, okay? You know that it wasn't all your fault. You know that it takes two to tango. You know what I mean? So it's like, right now it's just like, I just want to be happy, okay? Um, I, I've done enough. As a matter of fact, I've done way too much, okay? So, let's see. What's influencing them is a three of wands. I felt like they were waiting on you. They want you to come back and make them feel better. I feel like this person is off kilter when you're not around. You keep them balanced. You keep them um, healed up. Okay? Instead of prayed up, you keep them healed up. Whenever things are going wrong in their life, I think you kind of you step in usually and you smooth things out. You make them feel better. When they're here feeling down in the dumps, you're the one that bring them back up. All right. And I feel like they're looking for you to to do that again. They're looking for you to do that. And I'm, I'm trying to figure out like, you know, what happened here as I split the deck. I see the tower there. Definitely a breakup. Definitely something that I, I don't think either one of you really saw coming, you know, and um, it kind of shook both of you up. Let's see what's coming in for you guys here. The lovers. You guys are going to have to make a choice, okay? And I feel like it's probably between someone else and this person. You bring them balance. I feel like they're looking for you. You guys probably have Aries in your chart. Um, Sagittarius, Leo even. Uh, Gemini energy, Capricorn energy. But I feel like they're looking for you. Um, they're waiting on you. But at some point, this person is going to realize that uh, they can't wait on cancer. If, if they want something here, it's up to them to shoot their shot. And, and that's just what I'm getting strongly here. But I do think that there is going to be a choice to be made here. Very soon. Very soon. Okay. Let's see what's coming in for them. What's coming in for them is a chariot. Success. Figuring out what the hell they want and going towards it. That's what the Seven of Cups and the Chariot is. Going forward successfully. This is the card of Cancer. Coming towards your ass. And I feel like they're coming in fast. I feel like this person is coming in very fast, guys. So... Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. Let's see what's blocking you. What is blocking cancer? Hmm. Knowing where you're going, who you're going with. You don't really know. See, I think a lot of you have it in your heads that, oh, I'm done with this person. But I think that's something that you're trying to talk yourself into. Because at the end of the day, you guys love this person. I know this. You know this. Okay, they probably don't know this, but I think they're going to shoot their shot. But it's going to be up to you to decide if you're willing to, you know, kind of let your guard down and let this person back in here. Okay, it's up to you deciding because if you if you know you want this person to come back and you're steady saying I don't want them to come back, um, that's what's blocking you. Okay, even if you don't want to reconcile with them, if you just want to reconnect and let them do some explaining or you guys talk things out, end it on a better note, what have you, welcome that energy in. Okay, don't block it. Because if, if you are, you can lie to everyone else or you can tell everyone else a story, but your heart knows the truth. Okay, deep down inside, you know the truth. So, you know, deciding what you want is, um, is what you guys probably should do to keep from blocking this energy out. All right. Their blockage is they are actually blocking. <laughs> they are blocking. They are standing up for, I feel like they're blocking everything out and everyone. And they're trying not to come back. 
they're trying not to give you what they feel like you want because they want you to come towards them they are so very defensive this person so very defensive they have seven 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 here god is going to tell them something um very defensive hmm I don't know what happened here and they feel burdened they feel burdened they don't know whether like <laughs> they don't know what to do <laughs> this person <laughs> all right let's see what the advice is for you guys here they don't know what to do they don't even know if what they're standing up for is what they should be standing up for you know it's, it's like that type of energy it's like they don't know Hmm. The advice is to keep doing you. Do what makes you feel good. Do what makes you happy. Don't let anyone deter you. Don't let anyone get in your way of going towards the things that you feel like are um, that you deserve in your life. Okay. That is the advice for you. If you guys feel like you need to offer something to this person, okay. Because the knight does make offers as well. Emotional offers. You know. And they go towards the things that make them happy. So if you feel like going towards this person is what makes you happy. Choose that path. If opening up to this person is what's going to make you happy. You know. Because right now you're at a crossroads here with this two of wands. That's what's blocking you. You're at a crossroads. You you don't really know if it's too big of a burden to go back. Or if it's too big of a burden to, for you to go on without them. It's like you're needing to decide, you know, your path is what I'm getting here for you guys. Okay. Let's see what the advice is for them. What's the advice for them? Six of Cups. Reunite. Reunite and stop blocking it. Stop blocking what they already know that they want here with this Seven of Cups. They want this soulmate relationship. They want to reconnect. They want to reunite. They want to be with you. Stop denying it. They are in denial, this person right here. They're trying not to feel flooded with all of these feelings that I can feel that they feel and um, they need to stop <laughs> shoot let's see what the outcome is for you guys here Here's the outcome for cancer what's the outcome for cancer hmm. then you have a five of cups Look at this. They are starting with this, what they've been feeling. And this is what you are ending up with. Maybe some of you guys are actually going to this person, this Scorpio individual, offering something to them, choosing that path. Maybe because you guys know too what it is that you want. And that's going towards this person and let them know, hey, I'm still here. I want to work on this. I do love you. Mm. Strong Scorpio energy here. And here and here. Huh. I don't know why I can put this deck again. <clears throat> Let's see what their outcome is here. Somebody definitely wants to go on here, for sure. Want to continue? Feel like they can, you know, work things out, continue on with this relationship, for sure. The King of Swords. I feel like this person will become very aloof. Um, 
and, and I, I think they'll remove their emotions from this, to be honest with you, because they have a lot of emotional things going on here. And I see them moving forward successfully, going towards the things that they want. And they're defending their position here. At the same time, they're looking, they're looking for stability. They're looking for emotional stability, um, financial stability. And they're being very defensive. I think they know that... Um, I think they know that you guys care for them. They know that you that that you're their soulmate, okay? And I think they're blocking this energy. And for them to feel safe, they they're putting they're getting ready to put themselves into a zone of kind of removing their emotions. Fiery water here. So I feel strongly this is like a Scorpio Aries individual that probably has Capricorn in their chart. Um, and they may have cancer in their chart as well. And some air. Aquarius, Gemini, I feel energy. Okay. But um, just kind of like coming across kind of, you know, non-emotional. And, th and that's going to be a comfort zone for them. Okay. And you guys are just trying to be happy. You're trying to figure out like, you know, should you invest some more time here? Or should you go on? But I feel like you guys are going like you're being led back to this person is what I'm getting here. And if you go on, for some of you, I'm getting that, you know, of course, this probably will be a missed opportunity. If you do not um, make an offer to this person or they make an offer to you how you know however the energy goes this energy can go vice versa guys okay so that's what i have for you and i will be speaking with you guys soon